Okay, so this is Susan Garrett's collar grab game. The reason we want to play the collar grab game, um, it's a very good starting point for a recall to teach your dog to come right to you to get their reinforcement. It is also to desensitize the actual dog collar because a lot of the times when people grab collars, it's not for a good thing. It's usually to end the fun, um, to take a dog away from something. And in the later stages of training, you will want to use this um, as an emergency technique or a technique to prevent unwanted reinforcement. So in order to use that as a part of training um, and not do damage to our relationship, we need to um, counteract that process by doing a lot of collar grab games. So we're using Rambo today uh, and Rambo you'll see is quite sensitive to having his collar grabs. So most dogs may not have a problem with it, but if you've got a dog like Rambo, it means you need to use really good treats um, for a puppy or a, a dog that really loves their food, you could probably get away with just using their regular kibble. But Rambo, you'll see, is quite sensitive. So if you have a dog like this, you'll want to do a lot of work with this with really high value treats. So we're using chicken and hot dogs today because um, most dogs can't resist those. So let's, let's have a look at it. So we're going to have our dog on leash so they can't go anywhere. Probably good to start this inside if your dog is easily distracted. Um, but as you can see, there's no distractions around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to randomly grab the dog's collar, okay? And we're going to grab our treat. And we're going to feed from above the dog's head. Good boy. And release. So the reason we want to feed from above the dog is I'd rather them not be looking over there at something else. We want them to see that the reinforcement is coming from us. And of course we want to praise the dog because they've just done something good by allowing us to grab their collar. So we've already done a little bit of work with Rambo and he's a little bit more comfortable than he was, but I would still point out that he is not the most comfortable dog, so you want to do a lot of sessions with a dog like this. So again, randomly grab the dog's collar, just lightly. Good boy. And let go. So you can see he's very gentle about it. He's very cautious to take that treat. Um, and if he really loved it, he'd probably stick around, but he's already walking away showing he's slightly uncomfortable with it. So if you have a dog that is even more sensitive than this or shies away from your hand reaching towards them, I would actually start by just tapping the collar and feeding a treat. Good job. Good boy. And the important uh, mechanics of this is that you leave the hand there until the treat has been delivered and then take it away. And we don't present the treat before reaching for the collar. You, you, don't, you can't really reverse those steps, so it won't really work to teach the dog. Collar grabs mean really good things happen, okay? So if you have a dog that even won't let you touch their collar, uh, I would do something like this. Just grab the leash near their neck and feed the treat, good boy, okay? So those are the steps for various dogs, depending on your dog. So we're going to pretend that we've done all the work and Rambo is comfortable with this to show you how to progress. So we're going to walk around a little bit, do, 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 do. grab the collar and give a treat. Walk around a little bit, grab the collar. Sorry, I should be a bit faster with these treats guys. Ziploc bags are not ideal. <laughs> Good boy. And walk around a little bit. So this is for a sensitive dog, I would just keep it light and easy to begin with. I like that he's not walking away now, he's like, yeah, I'll have some more chicken to have my collar grab, that's fine. So, grab the collar, give a treat, good boy. If you have a high energy dog, or really what we want to do is actually start to excite the dog and have the dog enjoy this game. So, what I would be doing next is running around a little bit with them, getting them excited in between collar grabs, okay? So we're not going to grab the collar in this point. This is just to get the dog revved up, okay? Yeah! Good job. What we do by running around and playing with the dog, A, we make the game more valuable and more exciting to them, but we also heighten their arousal state, which is really important when working with your dog. We don't want them in a calm, placid, like this would be no good for a recall, this state of mind that he's in. It's good when we want to teach our dog to be calm, but that's not what we're trying to achieve here. We're trying to rev them up and get them excited to be around us, more excited than distractions around us, okay? If you have a puppy that likes tug or a dog that likes tug, I would be getting a tug toy out and playing tug in between collar grabs, okay? That's just to get you started. So, 
that's the very first steps of your collar grab game. Uh, thanks for joining us.